What's up, guys? So, uh, Scotty Morse has went missing. It has been missing for seven days now. I'm just now getting involved in the case. Uh, there was a lot of people covering it, so I just... I didn't see any reason for me to get involved in it, being how many people were actually talking about it. But now it's coming up on seven days, so I'm going to get involved in it now. So, because uh, this kid needs to be found... I have a bad feeling about it now, being it's seven days. Uh, I think his parents are pieces of shit. Uh, did they cause... Did they make him disappear? No. Did they cause him to disappear? Yes. They put this shirt on him, calling him a liar, and embarrassed him. And would cause him to be embarrassed the rest of his life for whatever he did. I don't know what he did. I don't really care what he did. I just think what they did was fucking stupid. He has an ass. Bust that ass. And send him to his room. But anyways. Let's see what this says. From the Star Press. Uh, Scotty Morrison still missing after polygraph. After polygraph test, infrared, infrared cameras and search parties. Eaton, Indiana is searched for a missing 14-year-old Eaton boy in, entering its fifth day on Monday. We're now on a seventh day, guys. Scotty Morris, 14, left his family's home at 8.30 p.m. Thursday and has not been seen since. We've, conduct, we've conducted several interviews and polygraph tests. Eaton Police Ch Chief Jay Tuner said Monday morning, search parties made up of both law enforcement professionals, emergency responders, and volunteers combined the area around Eaton, uh, a town of about 1,500 residents, nine miles north of Munchie, Munchie, Munchie. On both Friday and Saturday. It's un unbelievably... It's unbelievable the way the community has come together. Uh, Turner says, referring both to the searches and efforts by others to support these those looking for the team. Officials with Delaware Community School were on hand when e Eaton Police on Monday and provided school buses to transport uh, searchers. The on-the-ground search efforts were temporarily halted on Sunday to allow the Indiana State Police troopers and helicopters to scan the area using infra infrared cameras. The searching, the searching was to resume Monday in the area included near the Iron Bridge east of the un in unincorporated community of Grandsville and near other bridges along Eaton Willings Peak. They probably said the, the word, the, whatever the, this word is, I don't know what it is, guys, so you just, I'm not the best reader in the world, but that doesn't freaking matter. Uh, we're trying to find a, a young boy that his mom and dad, uh, did him wrong and they just dis he disappeared because of the bullshit that his mom and dad did whoop that ass and send him to his room don't embarrass him where he has to deal with that the rest of his damn life because of fucking kids are mean but anyways that's just my opinion uh this is not this is not sounding good like they've searched it's been seven days, so they've pretty much searched this whole nine-mile area of this town. And more than likely, a big-ass chunk of it has been searched. And nothing after seven days. That's not good. It's not good at all. And... Man, I hope they find him, like, safe. But after seven days, it's, it's kind of... It's, it's not sounding good now. After seven days. But hopefully I'm wrong. 